All right, now let's get started with the skincare. I hope that you enjoyed that intro. I have really been having a lot of fun with doing my videos a little bit differently. And I actually enjoy the whole full get ready with me situation. So if you do, I want you to comment and let me know. And if you're not already subscribed on all platforms, and she do that as well. I am clearly getting ready. It is early in the morning. It is now 536, okay? I started at four. That was a lot. That was a whole lot. I need to breeze through this makeup very quickly because like, how? Oh my gosh, I almost forgot SPF. So I'm going to a warm weather climate and if you don't already know, the airline is very dry. The air in the airplane is recycled and it's dry. So I recognize that when I'm on the airplane, my skin be feeling mad dry. So I'm thinking, should I do my matte foundation or should I do something that is more hydrating? But again, where I'm going is going to be hot. So I'm just gonna think over the next few seconds what I'm gonna do. I'm likely gonna do I'll do my hydrating foundation because I feel like I'm gonna still be comfortable in my skin, especially since I'm not using a matte primer. This is just a Sephora translucent powder. I should still feel hydrated on my face. So Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 485. If you've watched my video where I talked about the two foundations that match me perfectly, then you know about this one already. And I did shave my face as you saw. So I'm reminded how strange it feels to put foundation on, on a bare naked face. It just feels so strange because there's no, hair in between the brush and the skin so it just feels it feels odd if you shave your face then let me know i do this because the makeup looks so smooth and so beautiful and i can see my hair under my makeup granted you know it's not a huge deal but because i shave my face when i don't i can see it i just love how my makeup looks without the fuzz you know now obviously you know i love all things girly feminine and over the past several years as i have began to focus more on how i present and how i feel if you've been here then you already know but if you don't then that's that's what it's been then you know that most places or most times when i'm doing something i will dress up and i dress up for myself we talked about this in several videos you know and i'm doing it for myself because i know how it makes me feel and i also recognize how people treat me differently or they treat me based on how i look and if you pay attention you'll notice the same right when you put yourself together don't you seemingly get more respect from people that's what i have noticed and i just feel more confident you really don't ever know who you're going to run into or whatever what going to happen wherever you go so especially when i'm traveling i just like to at least on the leg where i'm going to my location i still get dressed doesn't matter what time of day i'm traveling i'm still gonna get dressed especially since when i get to my destination we hitting the ground running ain't no time for oh let me go get ready like who says mm -mm, no i remember i used to go to the airport any kind of way i used to go a lot of places any kind of way okay and if that is how you still operate then do whatever makes you feel comfortable in this video i'm simply explaining what makes me feel comfortable and I just love to be put together. I love to smell good. I just love to look good at all times. Most times, okay, because last night I went to soccer practice and I, you know, I looked like I was going to the gym, you know, and that's okay too. But even in that, you can still put that together nicely. I didn't have a full face of makeup on, but I also didn't have on the oldest rags in my closet. So that's what I'm trying to get at. I mean, a long time ago, I got rid of all of my old comfort clothes. Even now I still have to purge things every now and again to be like no this is old especially now with my weight loss i mean i'm always losing weight but i've lost more weight and then with the surgery i really had to go back into my closet again and purge stuff so it's a continual thing you know a lot of stuff is new, unworn, and I'm just gonna give it to someone I know and the domestic violence shelter that I found. So even though it's four in the morning, oh man, this hair's not dry. Oh, I could put another one there. I didn't mean to rip that off. I wanted to pull this back, but I didn't wanna rip that off. It still needs to lay down. So I'm just trying to pull this back a little bit so I can apply my contour. And the contour does need to go in the hairline so that it looks more seamless. This is the Kat Von D powder foundation, the color 098. So yeah, I still do my full face of makeup and it's gonna be giving a satin look. I know on the airplane, I'll still look comfortable and it should still be fine. I have contemplated carrying a travel size version of a dewy setting spray just to re-mist my face. In fact, I have an SPF setting spray that I could bring, but I'm 
not gonna do all that. Cause like I said, when I get to my location, I can't be looking, I'll do it. But just FYI, if you've ever noticed, the air in the airline is very dry. All areas need to be hydrated. And let's talk about this Fenty body cream. I bought it off of what everyone was saying online. And honey, I don't like it. I like the scent of it, but I do not like the shimmer. You know, I had done my body care and then did my face and I got glitter or shimmer on my face. I can't stand that. And I don't like, I mean, maybe this looks pretty at the beach or at the pool. I don't like it. I don't like to be shimmery. So now I don't know what to do. <laughs> it smells really nice. Hmm. Do you have it? What do you think? I want to know. So now I'm blending the lines of demarcation with this beauty blender and I've explain this in slower, more detailed form in the past, but hopefully you just caught on to what I did. Can't go into too much detail right now, obviously. This is the Huda Glowish Luminous Setting Powder in the shade Medium Tan. I'm gonna go in and make sure that there's no creasing in my concealer before I apply this. Now, I do want you to know that I have a playlist for beginners. Is, is it called Beginner's Makeup Playlist? Something like that. So you can always take a look at those videos for more detailed explanations on what I'm doing. And you know me, I've already packed and I, I keep my suitcases is uh, like 80 or 90% packed. So, and I say suitcases, cause yes, I do take two suitcases. How many do you take when you travel? Cause I do two suitcases and then a, I'm gonna do a tote, my Fendi tote, because of course I'm gonna carry my laptop on the airplane with me and my iPad. Like it's just all kind of stuff, you know, this is a work slash enjoyment trip. I mean, everything is work, right? So I just need my stuff. <laughs> so I have two suitcases now. Cause I used to just do this one, big one and then a carry on, but that's just too much and it just got annoying. So I do two medium size now. We'll see how I like that. My first time doing the two medium size and then my carry on slash tote, which is really my bag too. My bag is inside the tote. I carry a lot of stuff because I like to have what I need. If you've seen the video on TikTok and I also repost it to IG, I need my two suitcases and I need my full size product, you know? <laughs> You know, over the eyelids with the Sephora translucent powder. I don't want my eyebrows or my eyelids to be greasy. This is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation Rich 660N. And let's get this contour a little bit deeper than it was. One of the things that I still find challenging that was a challenge even while packing was what to pack, what I'm gonna wear, what kind of underwear am I gonna wear underneath it, meaning cause I'm I'm doing the whole skims situation. So which one am I gonna do? Am I gonna do the thong one or the shorts one? Cause you know, I'm still compressing as I am still in recovery. Watch the surgery playlist if you have no clue what I'm referring to. This is the one size Patrick Stodd Dark 4G powder foundation. So that is always a problem like, okay, what am I gonna wear? And then what am I gonna wear? wear underneath because you know I don't have to wear anything right now but I choose to because I see the benefit of it and the doctor recommends it too but it's like what am I gonna wear and how long am I like am I not gonna wear something underneath like any kind of compression underneath and so if so how long am I gonna be in this outfit what is the outfit because you know I'm going to expand a little bit when I don't have anything on underneath it so it's just all these things I gotta think about when it comes to wearing clothes now at what almost two months this is the rose ink prismatic cream highlighter I really enjoy how easy this is to put on. And I'm trying to zoom through all of this so that nose highlight was just like, whatever. <laughs> It'll be okay, you feel me? She's gonna be all right. And right under here, and then this is still highlighted, so nothing to do there, nothing to see here. So I recently got a United Club business credit card. And I talked about this briefly before, but I got it because I do travel United quite a bit and I enjoy traveling United. Not only that, I'm like, let me rack up some points with United. So it's a new card and this is for business purposes because I'm traveling for business. And then I get to go into the club lounges. Can you imagine? I've never been able to do that. Talk about elevation in life. So I am excited to try out the United Club lounge today, honey. That's partly why I'm going early. I like to be at the airport early. Oh, this is Beauty Bakery snack rooms because I don't like to be rushing and all that. And yes, I do have TSA pre-check, but I also want to go to the club lounge. You feel what I'm saying? Let's see what they're talking about. Let's see what that hit bop. Oh, and that was a Sephora 59 brush. In case you want. One Zaman. Now let's do my eyebrows. Charlotte Silbury Brow Cheat. Mm -hmm. I know I have my microbading done. I really wish that I did not have to do my eyebrows ever again. However, I don't like how my brows look with makeup with the microblading. I shaved my brows today. I might, I, I did I did too much. <laughs> I did a lot. I was doing a lot of different remixes. Wow. Okay, I can see that. Let me get in the mirror. Okay, one time for my soft glam makeup look. This is a Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. I do have a video that is standalone that goes into this in greater detail. So I'll link that below in case 
case you want to watch it to really understand what I'm doing and why. And this is a Sephora colorful matte eyeshadow in the shade Sweet Brownie. All right, I applied my eyeliner on the bottom and the top, and this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I always do mascara before I put on my lashes, and I'll link every single product that I'm using below in the description box for you. Okay, while my Kiss Lash Glue is, you know, getting ready, honey, before I put my lashes on, this is the Booksum Power Liner Lip Liner in the color Creamy Chocolate. I like this a lot. I, I, I've really been enjoying it. And then on the inside, I don't know if Morphe is Morphe. What they, what they doing these days? I do like this sweet tea. I'll link it if it's still available. I mean, I don't even know. I do have a video, separate video on my favorite lip combos. This one's not on there because I discovered this after that video, but make sure you watch that one if you want a full list of my favorite lip combos. I'm always adding some to that, but that video is definitely there. <sighs> when I blow my lashes, it always feels so odd because as a former makeup artist, that is something that you, I mean, you'd never do that, you know? Talk about contamination, right? And then when I stopped taking clients, it took such a while for me to be comfortable to do that even with my own lashes. Because here's the thing, we all know that bad habits will show up in other areas. So if it's something that I was doing at home, I could easily, very quickly do it in front of a client to their lashes. And can you, oh my God, just the horror, right? Just so unsanitary. So I made sure to not even do it to my own lashes so that I never made that mistake. So when I stopped taking clients, it took me a while to be comfortable to just blow my own lashes. And really blowing them does help expedite things sometimes. Yeah, I have a small fan, but come on. I'm using my fingers to press this because I have short nails, so I can do that. I really wanted to do my nails all over again, but I didn't I didn't plan well enough, so I didn't have time. Although, I could always do my nails there. Like, these are press-ons. I carry nails with me, so we'll see. I have an extra set in my suitcase. I almost forgot bottom mascara. Look at my skin. This was a matte foundation, but look at it. It still looks satin. It looks satin, right? You see a sheen? It looks comfortable. It looks hydrated. This is Lawless One and Done Mascara. Oh, it is 609. I gotta go. I goal is to get out of here at six and look at me now. I love this mascara. All right, and here's the outfit of the day and the jewelry that I'm gonna use and my fragrance. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you like these full get ready with me's and also let me know if you have any different video ideas. I will leave two videos here for you to choose from and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.